Before starting the challenge, you can have this loadout cheese glitch cheat free 100% legit and without killing any enemy, not even one. I promise that everyone can beat hardcore mode on veteran difficulty, solo or in a group. Every bit of information will improve the success to unlock all hardcore specific rewards. Just follow my step by step instructions and you will win. We will immediately start with the preparation. Create a hardcore character, choose the archetype challenger to have an extra life. Even if you are playing in a group, everyone should have this archetype as primary. It is nearly impossible to arrive a down teammate. First thing to do, get that SMG. The code for the key is 0415, unlock the door and get it. Go to the unfriendly, unsympathetic Mac cave. While I'm saving humanity and defeating endless hordes of deadly enemies, she tinkers around on the same mission all the time and cheekily claims to be busy. However, equip healing shot mod on SMG and touch the stone. Reroll campaign on survivor difficulty to roll Yasha. Doesn't matter the red throne, start point or forbidden grove. All you have to do is looting chests. Do not kill any enemy, ignore them, don't worry they can't kill. This is very important. Killing enemy is XP and XP is bad in hardcore mode. Farming those chests will give you scraps, relic dust, a few consumables, iron and fragments. You can do that by the way infinite but a few times, 30 or 40 times should be absolutely enough. When red throne is spawned, collect 3 chests. Don't kill the enemies but do not go back to the stone. Just leave the map like in video. Clementine! Ford! Shit. Where are you guys? This is all insane. Crystal and Ford.
After the little grind, now we can buy the stuff we need. Consumables, crafting materials, all this stuff you can sell to get more scraps. Expect ammo box, iron, crystals, simulacrum, the rest isn't important, but scraps. Now you have enough scraps to buy the necessary rings, weapon, weapon mod and secondary archetype. Buy Bright Steel Ring, Black Cat and Firestorm from Regimento. After that go to Brabus and buy the Long Gun Black Mau and Rusty Metal for the Hunter Archetype. If you wanna play a different one you can also buy Medic from Dr. Nora or the other archetypes if you have unlocked them from Wallace. As long as your primary archetype is the Challenger. I recommend the Hunter for more DPS but more important because of the skill Hunter's Mark. Go to Man, Woman, McCabe and buy the Mod Hot Shot and the Mutator Battle from Dwell. You are finally done with the preparation. If you have enough scraps left you can also buy Simulacrum from Cast Vendor and upgrade your Relic. Use the fragment they drop from the chest farming. To unlock the archetype you still need 5 Luminate Crystals. Now equip them all like in video and we can start with the challenge. Yesha is best to start with. Roll it with Forbidden Grove Waypoint to fight the wolf and kill the doe. There are many reasons to start with Yesha, the Baskin trade for more damage reduction, Blood Moon Essence for more scraps, Bolt Driver Handgun and you can skip the second world boss fight by killing the doe. Let's talk about leveling. XP is bad. After entering a map, check enemy's power level on the minimap. There is a little number behind the name of the map. Your power level should be equal or less than the enemy's power level. Do not go higher cause the enemy's power will scale to yours. Your power level is an overall strange between archetype and weapon levels. So we should keep the archetype level low and the weapon level high. That's why XP is bad. XP is increasing your archetype level only, which we will avoid. Kill only those enemies that are on your way, collect stuff, ignore additional dungeons, follow the path to the world boss and complete only the primary objectives. How to upgrade your weapon now? Check enemies level on the minimap first, check your power level. For example, your power level is 1, enemies is 2. Go to rigs and upgrade your weapon plus 1. Check your power level again, is it still 1? Upgrade your weapon again one more time, till your power level is equal with the enemy's level on current map. Important now, do not upgrade any other weapon, only the long gun. If you do that anyway, your power level will increase dramatically and the enemy's level will scale. The intention is to increase the weapon level of the long gun to make it stronger than the enemies. For example, your power level is 2, enemy's power level is 2, but your weapon's level is 3, so you will do more damage to them. After completing the first two maps, you should be able to unlock the secondary archetype from Wallace you have bought before. So, what you have to do is pretty simple. Collect iron to upgrade your weapon and buy ammo boxes and complete only the primary objectives till you have beaten the campaign, that's all nothing more. But we are not done yet, there are still a few things you need to know and to do. If you are matching Koila's shadow boss on your map, that could be a problem if you don't have ammo boxes. So be sure you have enough before the fight is starting. One of the reasons why starting with Yasha is you can collect Blood Moon essences which you can sell to get more scraps. Don't forget to upgrade your relic capacity. Get the Baskins trade for more damage reduction. The Bolt Driver handgun. And kill the door and you're done with the first map. Now head to the labyrinth, there is a few things to do but after that you should be very strong to beat the hardcore mode easily. But there is something that can end everything what you have done so far. Don't worry, there is a little trick to safely pass that dangerous situation. By the way, you can do that in every boss fight. The Endless Rife trick. Invite someone that can help you in this situation. Let him quickly create a hardcore character to join you. Let him wait at the world storm while you are trying to beat the boss. If you fail that awesome hero can revive you at stone. Infinite attempts and tries later you are finally done. So nothing to worry. If you are playing in a group one can always stay outside close to the storm before entering a boss fight. That is working fine. 
Once you have beaten the labyrinth boss, time to get stronger. Just watch and do the same what I am doing. Just a reminder, upgrade only one weapon and that is the long gun black mouth. A few things left to know about both of them, we are done. The fight against the red prince you can skip, give him the coins, don't worry you're not dying. That boss is dangerous because of curse ethics. Reset and world stone to spawn the light with the coin till you have three. The magista is ugly and deadly, that boss has an insta kill move like the night weaver. My advice before entering a boss fight, you should watch a guide video or use a revive trick on these deadly bosses. When you have completed all world maps and root earth is left, your loadout should look like that. So that was my last tip. If you still have problems to beat this challenge, I would love to help you. Problem is at the moment there is no crossplay. I can only help PC players. That will change later. Just visit me at Twitch TV Subject X. If you think this was a helpful video, leave a comment, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.